Hey, it's Peter Gregg, Miami, Florida. Welcome to Peter's Kitchen. Sit back, relax. You are about to watch a Peter Gregg video. Something warm, human, and wonderful happens when you watch Peter Gregg. All right, today we're doing corn in the kitchen on the husk, getting it off really, really easy. So let me explain it to you up front that those that want the information now, 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 okay, we're going to take whatever number of years of corn, we're going to put them in here. We're going to make sure there's one cup plus of water in there. We're going to set it for eight minutes. We're going to do a quick release. We're going to open it up. We're going to take the corn out of the husks and we're ready to eat it. Of course, I put like a good butter on it on top of it. Okay, let's get going. Let's do all that. All right, so first I'm going to open the, the, the instant pot. I'm gonna make sure I have the trivet in there. I'm gonna take four corns, not gonna do nothing with them. I'm gonna lay them to uh, one way. Let me show you. Actually, I should show you. That would, be, that would be only gentlemanly of me to do. Okay, so I'm gonna put two of them this way make them fit if you got to get that uh, sledgehammer <laughs> and then i'm going to put a third one on top okay so i'm going to make three ears of corn i'm going to pour one glass of water and i use a, a glass that i have pre-measured so i have this glass and i pre-measured it so i know that three quarters of the way up is a full cup you got to put a cup of water in the instant pot or you're going to get yourself in trouble it's going to give you a burn message and shut itself off it uses water in the inner liner which is your stainless steel liner which is what we got here all right now it's that easy how hard can it be to make corn so why didn't i take them off the husk to begin with it's a lot easier to take them out of the husk after it's cooked simple 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 what about flavoring? I've seen people put butter. I've seen people put milk. No, we're going to put a good, I use Kerrygold butter, and uh, we're just going to slather it with the butter and a little bit of salt. And I do use Celtic salt or Himalayan pink salt. So the hard part now is putting this lid back on. You just line up the two things and you close it wow was that easy okay so i'm going to push pressure cook i'm going to push uh, custom on high and i want to bring it and come down to eight minutes well i like corn a little softer so i'm going to bring it to nine minutes so let me take a picture of this with this camera so you can actually see what i'm doing turn the camera on there we go, we got focus. This is an old Olympus EM1, mark nothing, okay? So we are in custom, if I can get it to focus. Okay, we're in the custom setting, we got nine minutes, and I'm going to press the start button. And that is all there is to it. I have to remember to stop the recording, okay? So now what it's gonna do, is it's going to heat up to the right temperature. The little thing on the top is going to pop up. Let's go back there and show it to you again. Nope, wrong camera. Yes, right camera. See the little red thing where my finger is? That's going to pop up, give me plenty of pressure. And then when it's done, I'm going to release the lever here and exit out the pressure. That's all there is to it. I'll be right back. When the corn is done or your eight minutes are up, the instant pot is going to beep and the word on the street is it's going to beep 10 times two three four five six seven eight nine ten no more ah eleven did i count the first one i'm sure it was user error so we have the instant pot has completely cooked our corn in the husk for actually eight minutes i actually put it to nine because i like the corn a little bit softer okay so now i'm going to do a release let's turn the upper camera on so you can get all the steam in your face there we go now all the steam is coming out and it's releasing the pressure in the instant pot 
The pressure would be dangerous, so you do need to be careful. You don't want to put your hands above the steam. The new model, the 2020 that I have, which is the new Instant Pot Pro, actually has a diffuser built in. The old ones don't have that. This would actually shoot up steam straight up on top. See, right where the camera is, and all that steam would get right smack dab into the camera. So now we're going to wait until the red dot. See the little red dot there? When that pops down, we can actually open up the Instant Pot and we're going to take our corn out. And then we're going to get it ready to be plated for people that want to eat it. We're still waiting for that little red dot that's letting out all the pressure. See where my finger is? I'm moving my finger around right there. I'm getting Okay, so when that drops down, it just dropped down. That means we are now ready to open this and now probably going to steam you up okay all the steam comes up no it wasn't that bad all right so i'm going to put this down on the counter on this side i'm going to switch the camera back so you can watch me now i've got all my ears of corn are cooked so i'm going to put them all in the plate where are you You're over there okay i put them all i put the whole package in no sense just cooking part of it so this is all of the ears of corn now coming out, putting them in the plate. And now I'm ready to wash that guy. But what I want to do is I need a cutting board. Oh, I happen to have one right here. Imagine that. Okay. I'm going to take one of the ears of corn and I'm going to show you how easy it is. Use a towel because the corn is like really red hot right now. Okay, so about an inch from the bottom. Let's see if I can get a camera in here to show you. There we go. Okay, so about an inch from the bottom of the corn. There's the whole corn, okay? I'm gonna use the towel to hold this. And about an inch from the bottom of the corn, I'm gonna cut that off. Nice sharp knife, cut it off, okay? Now I'm going to squeeze the top part right here. Let's bring up the front camera again so you can watch, okay? Did I cut all the way through? No, I didn't. Okay. I need to cut all the way through. All right. Now I'm going to grab the husk over on this side. Where are we? And I'm going to gently just squeeze it right out. Anything that's loose, get it out of your way. And it's hot. Okay. So let me put the camera on on top so you can watch it again. Okay, so I'm just going to grab a towel and I'm going to squeeze it out of there. See how it's getting squeezed out? And if you wanted to, you can grab the tongs and actually just pull it out. And there I have a perfectly dehusked corn. Okay, and I'm ready to do the rest of them. Now let's bring you back into the picture. There you are. Okay, so I have cooked all the corn and now I'm going to put butter on it and I'm going to make it ready to be eaten. We husked, we dehusked it, we cooked it and it's ready to be plated. That simple, easy as pie. Okay, if you have not subscribed, you can subscribe on the bottom. You can actually give me a tip or a cup of coffee in the description. It says buy me a cup of coffee and you can actually support the channel. So I appreciate that. Peter Gregg, Miami, Florida. Please subscribe, all my subscribers. I love you. Bye-bye. You have just watched another Peter Gregg video. Something warm, human, and wonderful happens when you watch Peter Gregg. Thank you for watching.